Hi everyone, this is Ramesh Babu. Welcome to my lecture on building management systems. In this particular module, I'll be explaining access control systems, which are part of safety and security systems of building management systems. If you see security, Security is an important aspect in building management system. There are wide variety of materials available in the market pertaining to safety and security of a building. As you can see, there are certain devices which are to secure the building premises and there are certain facilities which are monitoring so the intention of this lecture is to categorize technically the wide variety of appliances which play a vital role in safety and security systems of your building if you look at the various aspects that are controlled and monitored by building management systems Safety and security system comes in a particular domain which is also optional to a building. Hence, depending on the typology of building, the priority is given more on the safety and security aspects. A vital example is, if you take a building like a high secured building like embassy building or buildings which needs priority in terms of security this system plays a vital role coming to integrated building management systems if you look at the domain there are domains which are for the comfort of a building and there is another set of domain which are only for security of the building. So, in this, aspects like CCTV, monitoring and controlling the access or restricting the people's entry comes in the security aspect of the system. But fire comes in the safety aspect. In this lecture, we will be looking into access control systems, which are part of the security system of a building. So, within safety and security systems, the important thing that we will be seeing is access control systems. But apart from that, we do have CCTV, intruder alarm protection, perimeter protection, safety system integration, access control systems. Access control systems. Access control is part of the security system which primarily focus on restricting the access of people or vehicle into your building. As I have told uh, you earlier, there are systems which are for monitoring, there are systems which are for reporting unauthorized entry and exit of a building. The access control system primarily plays a vital role in restricting the people into your premise. So if you see access control system, you have a controller or multiple controllers which are connected to various devices, out of which you see devices like readers and cards 
barriers, door sensor with bouncer, and emergency relief boxes. So, if you look at the access control architecture, the controller is connected to a lot of door controllers or boom barriers which do have a controller. Introduction to access control system. Access control system works on three R principles to restrict the unwanted entry, to regulate the entry and exit of unauthorized people or vehicle, and to record all the transactions. So this is called the three R concept or principle. As you can see in this, the first one is restricting unwanted entry, where the access can be totally cut off. Second one is regulating the people where there is an interaction happening between the access system and the people or the vehicle which may or may not permit the people or vehicle in the premise. The third one is recording all the transactions where an effective log is created which takes a record of the entry and exit and the timings and the hours of stay of that particular people or the vehicle in the premise. So more or less here, an effective log is created in the system. So the readers and cards are part of the safety control or access systems. Readers and cards. So here you can see there are variety of readers and cards like proximity card, smart, smart card and within the smart card also you will see iClass and MyFair and there are systems which are part of the access control like pin pad and biometric devices which we will see in the continuous lectures. Proximity reader if you see a proximity reader, uh, before I have to tell about the reader, there are there is something called reading, which is nothing but reading the device. So here, the technology of proximity reader is radio waves, and reader is a device which is installed in the building premise or in the facility which is fixer. The fixer device continuously emits low frequency radio views periodically. So the card which we are carrying when it comes to contact with the range the data from the card is collected. So this is called as the reading range. So the maximum distance in which a card can function uh, within the range is called as the read range. If you look at in this particular sketch here, so we can see the proximity reader which is fixed or mounted on the wall. The proximity cord is something which we bring near to the device and that is called as the read range. In this particular image you can see the read range is 4 to 24 inches roughly 2 feet. So when it comes within this 2 feet, the interaction happens between the card and the reader. So in a proximity card, there will be an antenna inside the card, which helps in receiving the radio waves that are emitted by the reader that is fixed on the wall or mounted on the wall. On receiving the radio waves, the chips inside get energized and sends back the data to the reader. So this one is called interaction between the reader and the card. The card has different sectors in it where information are stored. So each sector is used for storing information like the code, batch number, or whatever data that we are feeding which is relevant to be read by the device. So if you open a card, so you can see 
uh, antenna which is going in circular way and they do have a chip here next we come to smart reader so in smart reader contact is not required between the card and the reader on showing the card to the reader the data is collected from the card by the RFID induction technology which is generated by the reader so in contactless smart card so in contactless smart card it can just be waved near to the reader so here this consists of a microprocessor or magnetic strip within it the card reader actually talks to the microprocessor or magnetic strip the microprocessor or magnetic strip accesses the data on the card so if you look at a smart card you see this microprocessor or a chip which is an important device for communication now we go to pin pad pin pad is a device where we are asked to enter numerical information which is an unique number very often called as the secret number or pin number so this is also used in combination with biometric systems for advanced security a typical example of pin pad is the atm machine where we are feeding the information of your pin number so a standalone pin pad is like this in the next one you see a pin pad with an access reader where apart from feeding the information of pin number you do have to swipe the reader the third one you have a pin pad with access reader and biometric so which is supposed to be the next level of security where the person has to uh, fix his thumb impression into the biometric reading system so on the order of security if you see pin pad can easily be accessed by feeding a number alone the second one where pin pad with access reader you need an additional card to swipe in that particular machine apart from putting a pin pad like an atm machine the third one where you have to fix your thumb impression which is considered to be the topmost of security system so in fingerprint or hand geometry reader so there are devices something like palm scanner where you have to keep your entire palm more than this the third one you have eye scanner so eye scanner is the device which has highest level of security very often you can see eye scanners installed in immigration immigration facilities next in access control is barriers so barrier system is a physical obstruction for people or vehicle which is used for accessing or restricting access so to restrict access there are door locks boom barriers turn stones flap barriers etc a boom barrier is a typical facility 